Now to the Democratic Republic of Congo, where President Felix Tshisekedi has agreed to meet his Rwandan counterpart, Paul Kagame, for talks. Angola, which is mediating between the two sides, says the aim is peace in eastern DRC. There's been heavy fighting between the Congolese army and M23 rebels, which is again driving displacement and regional tensions. The DRC and others have accused Rwanda of supporting the M23 rebels. Rwanda denies the allegations. DRC's east is rich in resources from gold and diamonds to coltan, but there are now fears that the situation could escalate further as United Nations peacekeepers began withdrawing this week. The DRC government says the UN forces have not done enough to protect civilians from armed groups and militias in the area. The latest fighting broke out close to the main city, Goma, in the neighboring town of uh, Saki, Shashan, and Bueramanda. Hundreds of thousands of people headed for Goma in the hope of finding food, water, and shelter. When Claudine arrived with her two children at this camp on the outskirts of Goma, she felt relief, but only briefly. She's one of the newest internally displaced persons here. The UN estimates that the fighting has driven 800,000 people to seek refuge in this city alone. Despite Claudine being a fresh face at camp, the 20-year-old is not new to war. She was born into the conflict and it continues to rob her of her loved ones. I saw them kill my friend. We were on our way to Masasi and there was a lot of gunfire. That's when my friend got shot in the head. Claudine is running from the M23 rebels, whose resurgence in recent years has fueled violence and humanitarian crises in the area. With the rebels gaining more and more ground inland, the camps further east are buckling under the pressure. And their advance makes Claudine fearful that it's only a matter of time before the conflict catches up with her. I'm scared. When I hear that M23 is getting closer, I feel that things are not okay in my body. In the capital, Kinshasa, the focus is on diplomacy. After previously accusing Rwanda of backing M23 rebels, Congolese President Felix Tshisekedi has extended an olive branch, saying he's now open to meeting the Rwandan counterpart. Kigali has consistently denied any links to M23. Talks between the two sides have failed before, and civil society groups are not optimistic that diplomacy can do much to change reality. Here in the camp, every day, there are six deaths, either because of the war, disease, or famine. Do you want the Congolese people to keep dying? Some die in the battlefield. Some die because they have nowhere to flee. Others are dying because they're in the camp. Yet they're fleeing there because they're afraid of death. But here too, it's the same thing. The UN stabilization mission MONUSCO admits that the DRC crisis is one of the most neglected in the world. The mission will leave the country by the end of the year, leaving more security questions open. MONUSCO has the protection of civilians at the heart of its mandate. Its gradual departure will certainly have an impact on humanitarian operations, especially in terms of access. For those in the camp, the biggest challenge is a clear way out of the conflict, either through diplomacy or military action. The M23 rebels seem determined to take over more territory, meaning one thing for Claudine and her family. Things could get even worse here. Well, let's get more on this now from journalist Patricia Uon. She's in Goma in eastern Congo. Uh, Patricia, why has President Chisikedi agreed to talk with his Rwandan counterpart now? Yeah, well, indeed, because in late January, Felix Tshisekedi had ruled out completely talks with President Paul Kagame of Rwanda. So he had even said that no dialogue would take place uh, with the aggressor, he called Rwanda, as long as it occupies a part of Congo territory. So what has changed now? Well, 
Felix Tshisekedi is under an increased pressure because there's fighting near Goma, the capital of North Kivu, uh, fighting that has intensified in the last few weeks. And the rebels are now only about 20 kilometers from Goma, a city of 2 million people. So they threaten to take control of the city, but they also um, are blocking the main supply road to the city. So that's putting uh, pressure on the on the economy, obviously. Then another element is that recently the U.S. State Department called on Rwanda to immediately withdraw all Rwandan Defense Forces personnel from DRC. Um, that's a strong statement that is likely to put pressure on Rwanda and force its president maybe to the negotiation table. So a lot of political pressure, diplomatic pressure. Uh, there's also political instability in Congo itself. It's the last election in December was marred by allegations of vote rigging and the prime minister has stepped down. How is, is DRC's political instability affecting the conflict in the east of the country? Well, the ongoing war obviously weakens even more the position of Felix Tshisekedi and his government. So bringing peace to the East was already one of his promises when he was first uh, elected as, or sworn in as a president in 2019. So instead, well, the situation has gotten much worse. Less than a month after uh, Felix Tshisekedi has been invested for a second term, well, the, the, the Congolese head of state is undermined by the incapability of his army to stop the M23. Um, so more recently also, before the last election, Felix Tshisekedi has played the nationalist card, um, meaning that thousands of young volunteers calling themselves patriots have responded to the president's call to fight against the M23. So the yeah. consequence is that there are men carrying guns now everywhere on the road, even among the civilians in the uh, IDP camps where right. where people are sheltering and militiamen um, are not paid. So they are also accused of various human rights violations. And just briefly, uh, uh, Patricia, can you tell us whether the departure of UN peacekeeping troops in Congo will leave the, the country more vulnerable? Briefly, if you can. Well, yeah, probably. I mean, now the RC is looking for other partner. Um, there are troops now from South Africa, Tanzania, Malawi. But it seems very, very unlikely that those troops and the Congolese National Army will be able to, to ensure the security of the population and civilians after the departure of MONUSCO. Patricia, thank you very much for speaking with us. That was journalist Patricia Ion in Goma.